All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Good morning, and good Sunday for everybody. Uh, today our topic is very simple. We are going to answer a Muslim, or let us say the Muslim logic in general, even though the one who post his post is a Muslim, but this is a present all the Muslims, the way of thinking. Uh, and please don't forget, after we finish this video, to download the video and share it with your friends. When a Muslim, he speak to you, as a Christian, he have certain logic, and you Christians, you better understand the logic of the Muslims, because their logic is very twisted. And today, we are going to show you an example and how stupid it is. When I say the word stupid, I'm not here to insult, I'm just saying it is stupid, and I will prove it to you in a few minutes. This is a video we have from yesterday. It was my debate with the Sheikh who ran away, as you remember. If you don't uh, watch it, uh, go and uh, watch the video. The Muslims, because they are so disappointed of their Sheikh, and instead of trying to refute me, look what they are posting, and we will go for it. This guy, I'm not going to read his name, his name is very offensive. Muslim. Supposedly, he's making a conversation between a Muslim and the Christians. Muslim, they ask, who is God? Christians, they say, Jesus. Muslims, is Jesus the son of Mary? Christians, they say, yes. Who created Mary? Christians, God. Who is God? Christians, Jesus. Muslims, is Jesus the begotten son? Christians, yes. Who is the Father? God. Who is God? Jesus. Jesus is a servant of God? Yes. Jesus died on the cross? Yes. Who re resurrected him? God. Is Jesus a messenger? The Christian, they say yes, supposedly. Yes. Who sent him? God. Who is God? Jesus. Did Jesus follow a worship while on earth? Yes. Whom he did worship? God. Who is God? Jesus. Did God have beginning? No. Then who was born in 25th or 25th of December? Christians. Jesus. First of all, idiot. Jesus was not born on 25th of December. Muslims. Is Jesus God? Christians, yes. Where is God? In heaven. This is the Christian answering. How many gods are they? Are three in heaven? Only one God. Where is Jesus? He's seated on the right hand of his father. Then how many are there in heaven? Only one God. Then how many seats? One. Where is Jesus seated next to God? How are they seated in one chair? Christians is only understood by those who would ghost you need ghost, my friend. My friend, you do not need a ghost, you need a spanking, and I'm going to spank you right now as we speak. All what I need to do now, I'm going to exchange of saying Muslims and Christians, I'm going to exchange it to say Christians. Muslims and I will replace the words and listen carefully if we ask the Muslims who is God who is God they say Allah hold on please guys invite your friends share the like not many people knows that I am on air who is God Allah If we ask the Muslims, where is Allah? They will say he is in heaven. I'm just going to repeat the same question he asked us. Where is Allah? In heaven. Is the heaven is the creation of Allah? The answer is yes. Heaven. 
is the creation of Allah. But Allah cannot be inside his creation. Is that true? Yes. Allah cannot be Allah cannot be inside the creation. I will stop here for a second Just to show you the stupidity of the Muslims Allah is in heaven, but the heaven is the creation of Allah, but Allah cannot be inside his creation So the Muslim they reject that God can be inside his creation Which mean Jesus is the form of a human being and God he came to us in a form of a human being But the form of the human being is the creation of God. So God created himself You idiot you just shot yourself in the head if God cannot be inside his creation, how Allah is inside his heaven? In the hadith, your prophet, he said that Allah come down every night in the third part of the night and he asked the followers, who is going to pray for me? Who is supplicating for me? Who is praying for me and who is supplicating for me? He go from the heaven number seven down to heaven number one. Allah is going not only inside his creation, he's swimming inside. They reject that God can create a form and he is inside that form. But isn't it the heaven is just a form created by God anyway? I mean, it doesn't matter how big, how small it is, it's the same. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, do the size this matter? If God can go inside an apple or he can go inside the universe, it's the same. He is inside his creation. The apple is his creation and the universe is his creation. And now you are saying to me that your God, Allah, is inside his creation. In the hadith, The hadith says the following. Uh, let me show you the hadith in Arabic and English, sorry. So you don't say we are making things up. I'm going to take a snapshot of this so later we can borrow it again. All right. If we go to the hadith, we will find the following. Let us clear the screen. I remember the one is talking Abdul is not me. This is not a Christian prince. This is your prophet The potato You know founder Our Lord the blessed Sahih Muslim. This is a Sahih Hadith. So don't tell me we can you know this garbage like vitamin And Allah is taking diet and the prophet Islam is weak. Hmm? This is Sahih Muslim This is a very Sahih Hadith. I can show it to you in other in, in other books too Our Lord the one is talking is Muhammad himself our Lord, the blessed, the exalted, descended every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the of uh, of the later part of the night is left, and says, "Who is sub who supplicates me, so that I may answer him? Who asks me so that I ma may give him?" Allah come down every day, every night. You see, the second you say is that Allah come down every night in the third part of the night, it's mean Allah is inside our time system. And that's mean he live not only in heaven, he live here in earth. Because in order to be in the third part of the night, you have to be inside the zone of the earth. Are we following, guys? Are we following? Who is the one who created the first, the lowest heaven? I'm asking all the Abdul. Who is the one who created the lowest heaven? This lowest heaven which Allah is going to descend to. Who is the one who created? The answer is Allah. Okay. How Allah is entering his creation because now he is not only entering the lowest heaven He is entering the second heaven the third heaven the, the fourth heaven the fifth heaven the sixth heaven the seventh heaven 
going down all the way through his creation inside his creation Allah is making a trip every night I mean what what kind of what what kind of God this God is your God the, the the creator of the universe he have to come down to this little tiny earth to ask who is supplicating for me and he have to go down to the zone of the earth because he is saying in the third time third part of the night so Allah is entering the zone of the earth otherwise that time will not work Allah come in a certain time every day and you know just to show you how stupid the one who is saying that when Muhammad he says Allah descends Allah descend from where the earth is not flat but because Muhammad he think he is a flat the earth is a flat as we showed you in many verses in the Quran he think the direction is one above above Allah is above what above what is above when it's come to the earth what is above so look how many mistakes here in the in the stupidity of this cult they made fun of you for believing that God come to you in a form of a man but yet their God himself he is a physical being who is moving from point A to point B if we ask the Muslims do Allah have a foot they will say yes he have a foot all right sound good who is the one who created the foot of Allah <laughs> Listen, Muslims, you, you refuse Jesus for he have a physical body as a, as a human being, right? Allah have a foot. Who is the one who created the foot of Allah? And Allah, he put his magnificent foot in the fire. I, I, I made a video. I advise everybody to watch it and download it and share it. It's about who is Allah. And I play there all the videos of Muslims speaking about Allah hands, Allah fingers, Allah foot, Allah shin, Allah face. Allah is a physical being and you need to know and you need to remember that the God of Islam is not a spirit. He is not a spirit. Take a point because many Christians are naive. They think when Muslims they speak about their God, their God is, is the, the same idea of what we believe. Muslims God is not a spirit and he has no spirit, but he have a physical body. So he is a dead body. So everything he was pointing finger at you, he himself, he have it. Who is God? Allah. Where is Allah? Is in heaven. Can Allah be inside his creation? No. Is Allah is in heaven? Yes. But is in the heaven is his creation? Yes. <laughs> we did not start yet. Allah has a foot. Yes. Is Allah is inside his foot? Huh? Is Allah is inside his foot? Or he's outside. <laughs> Let us continue. Uh, if we go back to the to the to the video here, the text. Who created Mary? God. Who is God? Jesus. Okay, Abdul. You see, the, the problem with Muslims, not only they are illiterate like their prophet. But they are illiterate with using their brain. They don't know how, to, how this is why their brain is a bright test, never been used. The Christians believe, and the Bible says, and Jesus said, before Abraham I am. So before Mary he was. God created Mary. That will not change anything to make Jesus exist before Mary. Because simply Jesus before Mary, he was the word of God. If we go in the Quran, we can confirm that. And don't, mean, don't tell me now that the word of Allah is weak. If we go in the Quran, here, this is the chapter 4, verse number 171. You will notice right away that 4, 171, the, the, the false prophet Muhammad is confirming John chapter 1, verse number 1, and John chapter 1, verse number 14. Read carefully with me and laugh at Muhammad. O people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary. So here we go. The Muslim, he said, who is Jesus? He is the son of Mary. If we ask the Muslims, who is his father? He have no father. Who is the one who made Mary pregnant? Allah. So who is the father of Jesus? 
No father. <laughs> Abdul, the one who made my mother Britnet is my father. Who is the one who made Mary Britnet? Allah. Who is the father of Jesus? He have no father. Have you ever heard of somebody have no father? You just say that he is a human being and he is born. You see, don't tell me he is the same as Adam because people will laugh at you. For Adam is not born. Jesus is born. How Jesus can be the son of Mary? It's a miracle. What miracle mean? Allah, he made Mary pregnant. So who is the father of, 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 of Jesus? If... It's, the simple logic is whoever made my your mother and my mother Britnet, he is our father as simple as that Who is the father of Jesus? He have no father. Why Jesus don't have a father? Can you tell me why? What even the logic behind this Jesus who have no father what for I mean if this is just a miracle Anyone can claim that his mother she gave birth to him and she have no man. I my mom. She can do the same Nobody can prove it What the point of any woman she can claim that she gave birth and nobody touch her? So who is the father of Jesus? No father. Who is the mother of Jesus? Mary. How he have a mother but he don't have a father? Mute. Beep. No, no answer. This is the stupidity of the Muslims. So when you ask the Christians who is the father of Jesus, you Muslim, you should yourself say, well, the one who made Mary Britnet. Who is the one who made Mary Britnet? According to your Quran, it was Allah. Now we continue. Allah is saying that Jesus is the son of Mary. Hmm? And here between two brackets, he was no more, which is not exist in the Quran. He was a messenger of Allah. So what if Jesus take a note, Muslims? He is a messenger. And what he is to? He is his word. Okay. So what the Messiah was before he became a messenger? He was a word. Do you see it, Abdul? Abdul, do you see it? The Messiah, he become a messenger, but before that, he was the word of God. Is that a true? So now Jesus was a word, and now he is a man. So what was Jesus? Was a word. And what Jesus became? A man. So what was before he became a man? He was the word. Is the word of Allah created? The answer is no. If we go right now and type in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. Is the word of Allah created? The answer, absolutely not. And if a Muslim, he say the word of Allah is created, he will be executed by the Muslims immediately. The punishment is death, imagine. It's not, it's not a joke. There's, there's tens of thousands of people get killed just because they believe that the word of Allah is created. Muslims will not accept anyone to say that. And here the question, the basic intent of faith, Tawheed, divine unity, names, attribute of Allah. The Quran is the word of Allah. May he be exalted is not created. So what, what is the Quran? Is the word of Allah. What is Jesus? Is the word of Allah. Is the word of Allah created? No. Is Jesus created? Yes. But he, is the, he was the word before he became Jesus. <laughs> What was Jesus before he became a man? He was the word. What he became, he became a man. But the word is not a created. Yes. But Jesus is a created. Yes. But Jesus is the word. Yes. So he is not a created. <laughs> oh boy. Abdul. The Messiah. In John 17, he said that he before the world, the universe was created, he was united with the Father. And then he says, okay, so now where is the Messiah? He is in the right hand of God. And where he is sitting, he is sitting in a chair. You, you Abdul, you idiot. Do you think really that God is sitting in a chair? Like, do you, do you, this is the, this is how you image. What do you think? Our God is a spirit. What a chair. This is about the authority. The right, the right side of God is jesus the word of god which is the authority of god how allah he created things according to muslims the quran says if allah wants something to happen he say be as it was and i challenge the muslim to show me one thing allah he said be and it was even according to the quran and the stupid muhammad he made a claim that allah he created isa the same as adam 
if you want something to be he say be and he was but Adam wasn't created by saying with the word be and Jesus was not created by saying the word be we can read all the Quran you will see that Allah he sent his angel to Mary to give her the good news and then Allah he breathed into her vagina so Allah did not say be and he was he had to breathe in order for Jesus to be or for Mary to be pregnant with Jesus how Allah created Adam it took him all a Friday afternoon according to Muhammad and even Adam told Allah to finish him before the sunset because Allah was so slow and the Quran described that Allah he made a mud which mean he mixed sand with water and then he made mud and then he made them from the mud he made he fashioned a human being and after he fashioned a human being he breathed into the human being and then after he breathed to the human being Adam came to existence so Adam was not existed by saying be all the logic of Islam is a stupid the second you ask a question the second you ask a question they are gone they are history they make fun of your belief even though, even though our Bible says it clearly, in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with the God. What was Jesus is the Word. In the beginning it was the Word. Who is the Word? Is God. Is the Word of God the created Muslims? They say no. So you just be now in trouble. Why? Because the Christian believe that the Word of God is God. So don't, they don't have two gods. When you say to me, you have now. Quran is not a created and Allah is not a created So we have two and a created divine and yet you claim about Tawheed Actually the word Tawheed mean unification not mean oneness Tawheed do what in Arabia I challenge any Muslim to give me the word Tawheed in a sentence mean oneness It's impossible The word Tawheed mean unification of something in Arabic, we say Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiya, which means un un unification of the Arabian states or Arabian countries. Why we need to unification? Because they are not one countries. The United States of America, that is what Tawheed is. But America is united already, so we cannot say Tawheed, for it is already became one. Or united. Tawheed is, is a project to do. It is something to accomplish. It's a process you are working in it. And if you read the whole Quran, you will not find the word Tawheed exists. Not even once. Allah is not a created. His foot is not a created. Is it created or not? Allah is inside his foot. Is his foot physical being? Yes. Do Allah have a spirit? No. How Allah have a foot and why he have a foot? The Muslims cannot answer. Why he have hands? They don't know. Why he have five fingers? They don't know. Why, why, why? It doesn't matter what you say, how many why you say, there is no answer for all your whys. As simple as that. If you go back to the verse, You will see here the Quran confirmed the Trinity in the same verse it says say no a Trinity say no Trinity say no Trinity but the Quran confirmed the following that Jesus the Christ is the messenger which means he is a man and he is the word and then the Quran said that he is spirit proceeding from him that is a trinity god the man god the word before he became a man and god the spirit In the same stupid verse, it's denying the Trinity is the same verse confirming the Trinity. 
and you will notice here the Quran speaking about Jesus not as a spirit is a created but is a spirit proceeding you see there's a spirit which is a created and there's no proceeding from God but this is a spirit the spirit of Jesus is different it is a proceeding from him him who Allah is not created and it's gone it is a spirit proceeding from Allah how the spirit of Jesus can be proceeding from Allah Muslims they have no answer so the word of Allah is not created but yet the messenger of Allah is a created but the messenger is is the word of Allah Isa is the word of Allah and he is created but the word of Allah is not a created and he is a spirit but did say there is no Trinity yet it says that he is the man and he is the word and he is the spirit a three in one and say no Trinity so the logic of Muslims is very naive and very uh, uh, you know dummy they don't even know who's Allah you see, when the Muslims speak about the seat of Allah, he think we are talking about chairs. That can happen only in Islam. In Islam, Allah is carried by eight, for he have a physical chair. And not only that, the Quran and even the Hadith confirm that Allah is very heavy. If we go here, we will find the following. I cannot see what I'm typing. All right, hold on. I hope the Muslim Abdu will read will, will, will read with me and will laugh at this God. Alladina yahmiluna al arsha wa man hawlahu. Those who carry the throne of Allah. Your, your the throne of Allah is a physical throne. Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? Yes, because Allah is a physical being. If Allah is a person who is do not need anyone, he is sustained by himself, he is dependent. What is the need for his throne to be carried? You see the translation here, it says sustain. The Arabic says those who carry, carry. Those who be, bear the power of those who are around, around what bear of what, what this guy is talking about? Change the translation. Those who bear the throne, those who carry the throne and those who they are around the throne. A throne and around the throne and people carrying the throne and who is the one is carrying the throne if you go more in more details you will see that there is two animals or some they say eight angels they are carrying the throne chapter 69 verse number 17 the throne is carried by eight animals The Muslim, they say there are eight angels and every angel have four faces, a face of a human, a face of a, a ox, a, fo a face of a uh, whatever, eagle. So every angel have four faces and they are carrying the throne of Allah. So Allah is on the throne. Who is carrying the throne? The angels. Allah is carried in the top of the angels. How Allah is the almighty God, but yet he is being carried. You see, when the Muslim they say Jesus is a human being, you can carry Jesus. We are talking about supposedly the one who is the Almighty God. He is exist in a physical place, because in order to be carried, you have to have a limit, a physical size, a physical side, so I can hold you from. Allah is in the throne, and we carry the throne. Yesterday we asked the guy if you remember when he called me. We said Allah al arsh istawa. Allah he left himself to the to the throne. What does istawa mean? He he will not answer because they don't dare to answer. All what they know that Allah is on the throne. How we don't know? Sitting, standing, who care? 
sleeping, we don't care. The logic of the Muslims is very naive and very stupid. I'm not going to stay long, so you guys, you can download the video and you can share it with your friends. And remember, if we ask the Muslims, every human being, what? He will die. The Quran says, every human being is going to taste the death. Where is Jesus? He is in heaven. Who is the father of Jesus? He have no father. Why Shaitan did not touch Jesus? He touched Muhammad. We don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. Allah, he protected him. Why he protected Jesus? Was Jesus the word of God? Yes. Is the word of God created? No. But Jesus is created? Yes. But he is the word of God? Yes. But he is created? Yes. But the word of God cannot be created. <laughs> it's a madness. It's a stupidity. They use a logic. Their logic itself is against them, not against us. Thank you guys for watching. May the Lord bless you all. Feel free to download the video and share it with your friends. And have a very happy Sunday. Christ is Lord and Islam is made by a fool for the fool. Thank you and see you soon again. Bye-bye.